Welcome to this review about a new feature in Kodi 16 called uh, Jarvis. Uh, we're gonna have a look at the add-on manager and the improvements we did. So let's go to videos, add-ons, and let's pick one of these. Let's pick YouTube. Hit the uh, right button, context, add-on information. As you see here, now we added an update button and an auto update switch. So now you can uh, independently uh, turn off or on uh, auto update per add on. So if I disable it now, uh, YouTube will never be auto updated. Uh, while the rest uh, does keep getting the auto updates. We do recommend just keeping this on. To be sure that you go, get all the latest bug fixes and uh, and changes but should you decide that you want to disable and you auto update and you want just want to keep this version just disable it and you will never get any updates anymore in the past we also had a rollback button and this is now changed to update so if you now click the update button you can actually select from which repository you want to update and uh, the version. So as you see here, uh, YouTube is version 5.919 in Kodi repo and also in Bromix, uh, the, the add-on author, his repo also has the same version. And let me see if there's another one. As you see here, it's only in this repository that I have installed. Let me get... So this works from every section, so from video add-ons or uh, picture add-ons. Just hit info button or right click and now you have these options. And the same goes for music. As you see here. or digitally imported also for programs so let's go to add-on manager and let me show you uh, what uh, that you can actually select which add-on you want to install or which version so let's go to my add-ons weather uh, the open weather map extended is a, an extension for the weather add-on and each Kodi version has its own version so that's this way i can actually let, show you what i mean with that you can uh, select each version so for jarvis it's 3.11 and for isengard it's 2.05 so i cannot actually install this because it's uh, for a previous version and it's actually much better to keep this one but as you see here you can actually in select which version you want and it's now installing as you see here now just install 2.05 or i can switch back to 3.1.1 as you see here is also the local package so on each add-on install we store a local version of the add-on so instead of downloading from the server you can also install the the version you actually downloaded previously so that saves some bandwidth and let me turn on auto update for this and another thing that is new is uh, for skins which I don't have at the moment installs look and feel skin Ion Knox install so it's now pulling in some uh, dependencies so would you like to switch if I pick no I can actually hit use 
So instead of going to appearance, well, let me show you appearance, skin, choose a skin and then use Eon Knox. You can actually go get there from add ons, install, and actually say here, I want to use this skin. Let's go back to since Confluence isn't in repository, you will have to go to appearance to switch back. So these are some of the changes we did to the add-on manager. Uh, feel free to uh, just try it out yourself. Oh, this way we hope to make it more intuitive to manage all your add-ons. Uh, if you're in add-on manager, you still have the auto update, notify on, never. So also if you auto update notify, the option should also change for auto update. As you see here, it's now disabled. So that auto update is only available if you have auto update on and then you can choose per add on. It should also remember uh, the previous selection is you did. So if I turn this off and switch this around, it, it actually keeps the, the option disabled. So it remembers per add on. I'm going to turn that back on because I also, I always want auto updates. So again, you can do it for add on section or from any section on the, the menu screen, which has the add-ons, just use the context menu, the C key, or the info button, the I button, or right click, or long press, and you'll end up here. And from here, you can decide what you want to do, update or turn it on and off. So I hope we all, hope you all like these changes we did to uh, further improve the Cody experience to you all. Thank you for watching.